Now we will discuss what exactly text substitution is and how does it work. So text substitution happen in source file. What are source file? The file with the extension of .c and .cpp are the source file. So text substitution happens in source file which is being compiled by the compiler. Compiler before actually commence the compiling of the source file, it performs text substitution. Now this point is actually very important. First of all remember that text substitution happens in source file. Text substitution do not happen in header file. Compiler make use of header file in order to perform text substitution in source file. And second point says that before the compiler actually starts compiling the source file, compiler actually performs the text substitution in the source file that is being compiled. Now this text substitution is actually accomplished by two pre-processing directives. The first pre-processing directive is hash include and the second pre-processing directive is hash define. So remember in C or C++ any statement which start with hash is actually called pre-processing directive. Why it is called pre-processing? It is called pre-processing because these statements are executed before actually the compiler starts compiling the source file. Now as we know that hash include preprocessing directive is used to include the header file in the source file. So these two points actually tells that how hash include preprocessing directive works. So if in your source file if you have a statement hash include a.h then this statement is replaced by the contents of a.h header file in that source file. Similarly, if contents of a.h header file in turn contains another hash include statements, then these nested hash include statement is again replaced by the content of that corresponding header file in that particular source file. So don't worry, we will going to see how it happens with the help of an example. Now coming to the hash defined preprocessing directive. The hash defined preprocessing directive is used to actually define the macros. For example, here we have a very simple macro in which we define the statement square x as the multiplication of two x values. So in your source file, wherever have you written this square x as a statement, that square x calls will be textually substituted by the definition of the macro that is x into x at all the places in a source file. So here I actually expect you that you are familiar with hash defined preprocessing directive. Now let us see how hash include and hash defined preprocessing directives actually work in the text substitution phase with the help of an example.